Hello my friend, today I will show you how to run your first game and also I will introduce you the most important basic definitions that are needed to know what's going on in this game engine. In order to run your game, you need to click on this play button here. And the problem that we've got here is that we do not have the main scene. It hasn't been, well, you know, defined it says. Well, let's select that. There is no scene here also. So the, we need to create it. But what is scene? Scene, as the name suggests, is when you go to the scene in con when, when, when you're listening to some kind of concert, you're gonna see there people who are playing what? Music on guitar. So they are doing some cool things there, right? They are making action. And yes, the scene is like the action that we want to present to the um, user of our, to the player, right? And as you can see, we have here some kind of 3D scene, but we're gonna focus on 2D because, well, uh, 3D is just a bit harder to learn. So it's better to learn first is something that is easier. So we're gonna focus on 2D, but remember, if you learn something here, it's gonna be also useful here. So let's start from this. And we've got here an empty space and we now need to define what kind of scene we have got here. As you can see, we've got here what? The tab that is called scene. And it says you should create now the root node. And you need to decide if it's gonna be the 2D scene, 3D scene, or is it user interface for people? So, because we are focusing on 2D, we're gonna choose this. And well, why is it called root? Because if you think about a tree, right? root is the, like something that you start uh, you know doing all the things right uh if you want to grow the tree you need to start from scratch so from the root and this is the main scene which we're gonna hit here and now we've got here unsaved progress the asterisk is here and we need to save the that thing that we did here well we didn't do much other than just adding something like this so we're just gonna save it using the control plus S and we need to now name the thing that we've just created. Let's create a new folder and let's call it scenes, okay? Because we want to what? Organize everything. And here we need to put the name for our scene and we're gonna call it game, our game, right? So you can call it game or you can call it level because we're gonna project, uh, um, design the level of our game, for example, the dungeon or whatever, right? You are designing something here. So call what kind of scene, what kind of concert you're gonna design, here, right? And I'm going to click save. And we've got empty space that we can now select and run. So we've just run our first emptiness game, G empty game. <laughs> And we'll put some, let's put something here. Let's put an icon. So in order to put something, as you can I see, I'm duplicating all these things when I'm moving from here. Here I've got, what, three icons, right? They added to this main root thing that was added to the scene. And when I hit the play, we've got three icons here presented. So, hey, it's working fine. And the question is why this thing here is called node, as you can see. It's because, well, uh, when node can be expanded, right? Some, something, something, uh, node, node is really uh, something that you tie, right? You can tie or untie it, right? So that's why it's called node. And you can put many things together into node. You can categorize things. And node, which doesn't have additional name, around it is like the most universal type of node. There are many types of nodes in this uh, game engine. So this is like something that is used mainly for holding things, for grouping things, right? Uh, you're gonna get this, you know, naming convention a bit better when we're gonna you know, put much more things into this game, okay? But this is like the main uh, thing for grouping right now so we're gonna call this game and later what we can create here more things not an icon we can put here sound and we're gonna put it into our game the scene that represents our game we're gonna put here for example i know user interface we're gonna put here player and we're gonna just attach all these things to this main 
node that we can expand or we can just uh, untie it, right? right? So to be honest, uh, this is for the sake of grouping things. This is like the main node, but you can create more, much ma many more nodes later here inside. And you're gonna see it in pra on practical examples in future, right? So you can have, for example, the coin, which has got, for example, image and so on, and you can reuse it and so on. You're gonna learn things like that. But in this lecture, I just want you to remember that we need a main scene where we start our game. We can now play it, right? And to this, uh, well, scene, we can attach a main uh, root node, right? So something that we can tie and untie. And to this, we can attach much more content that is connected to this game, to this scene. And we can now just run it, play it. Very cool. The question is, how do we put here things that gonna, you know, interact with each other? And we're gonna learn things like that in future lectures. Have a good day. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask.